<laughs> Look at this dude, he's like... My finger smells like peanut butter. Mm. Ah. <laughs> and time to back off. Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. In the last episode, we started off the game and found that Sonic found himself in a bit of a hairy situation. Oh my god, her wrinkles are in my eyes. I didn't mean for that camera angle to happen, but man, she has got... One heck of an old lady face. But either way, we started off the game. We found that Chip does not know his name. The planet has been broken into a billion pieces, but somehow Sonic is still not aware of it, even though he, like, saw the laser getting fired and stuff like that. Chip's got no memory. We got a bunch of chest hair that we don't want because we want that young, clean, boyish, shaven look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about, but we got a bunch of problems basically that we are going to be heading after in this episode and hopefully playing as the Werehog for the first time. If you guys are excited for all that, please make sure to leave a like on the video down below as we head off to perhaps murder this old sailor man. Hey Pilgrim, how are things going? Wait, why are you like, oh god, you look short and stouter than before, did you eat something funny? Too much protein, dude. That's what it does to you. Protein kills, ladies and gentlemen. Um, can I, like, go like, back to, like, the le- This is the level hub area right over here. And since there's a sun and a moon here, it makes me think that maybe Pokemon Sun and Moon is behind this gate and actually Sonic is gonna be the main character of the next Pokemon games. Game theory. <laughs> but no, I think, um, maybe at the level hubs is just where we're gonna get all of our level action, which I'm okay with. Yeah, okay, and it's like specifically like, not right in front of you, just a little over to the left. You're too dumb to figure this out for yourself. You would never look over there by yourself, you idiot. It's right here. <laughs> Looks like we are going to be playing our first wear on level, ah, which I'm so excited about. Is there any point for rings? Is there like skills and stuff we can buy? Okay. This looks like a swipe. That looks like a punch. Eh, we'll just figure it out as we get into the level. Screw it, man. Windmill Isle, Nighttime, Act 1. Let's get to it. And I want to know what those sun and moon medals are for as well, because I have no idea. And man, Sonic's like... <laughs> Sonic looks like he's trying to dunk it, and this is like, whoa! I'm about to dunk it on some bad boys in this level, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually really, um... Oh, okay, attack, attack, grab, throw... Whoa! Oh, Tails is here! And he's fighting some, like, Kingdom Hearts enemy. What are- what- the, oh god, they're so weird. They're like, gross... pollution frogs. You could fly farther than that, Tails. Did you re- Like, I've seen you fly, bro. That was nothing. You're not even trying. You just- you just want me to come rescue you, you lazy little fool. Your friend went off that way, Sonic. <laughs> I'm laughing because he's gonna die. <laughs> Quick, let's go after him. Can I break this? Yeah, I can break this. Of course I can break this. Look at my arms, dude. I bench about eight marshmallows. Those things over there are kind of scary. Punch them with the square and triangle buttons. You got it, pal. If there's one thing that I can do without failure, it's smash one single button over and over. Whoa, what is... Oh, I thought I was... Wait, what did he just say? <laughs> I was paying too much attention to the combat. I have no idea what he just said. It's the X button to jump. Press it again midair and you'll jump again. <laughs> Tutorials, ladies and gentlemen. I guess we're still in the early stages of this game, so it makes sense. But, like, I know how to jump, man. I can figure that out on my own. So, can I, like, charge moves, too? It kind of looks like I can. So, is there, like, a way to target these guys, too? It kind of looks like there is, because there's a little reticle that appears. I don't know. I don't know very much. Oh, yo, I am digging the triangle combos, dude. That was awesome. Can I, like, mix up the moves, too? Like, do some square and some triangle? It actually doesn't really look like it, huh? But I can hit sir. Oh, God. Yo, that dude just destroyed me. Also, I'm a little concerned because I can't exactly see my, um... Yo, wait. <laughs> oh my god, it reminds me of Wario World, of all things. Enemies drop yellow gem-looking things when you beat them, right? Those are chaos orbs, and they give you experience. That means level up, Sonic. Oh my god, we are literally like oversized, hairy, gross, disgusting, need-to-brush-our-teeth chow, dude. It's like that. this is the chow garden. You get chaos orbs instead of chaos drives, was it, in that game? In Sonic Adventure 2, they were called Chaos Drives that you gave to the Chow, right? Now, we're just big, oversized Chow. I can't believe it. Is this as fast as we can run, by the way? Sonic! Sonic, are you... So so Sonic! Bro, I'm right here. You ain't gotta... <laughs> 
Hold R2 or L2 and tilt the left stick to dash in that direction. Oh, okay, whoa. I guess we can run faster than normal, except it drains our- what is that, the Unleashed Gauge? Is that used for- is that the only thing that's used for? Because that's a little- that's a little lame. Doesn't look like this door's- this door opened manually. Maybe there's a switch? Here's a picture of a switch that I just happen to have on my person at all times. Wow, what a well-hidden switch. <laughs> oh my god. That's like some key under the doormat stuff right there, which I never understood. That doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Okay, we can take out a bunch of enemies at once, I think he was trying to say to us right there. And yes, it does look like we can do some damage to a whole bunch of fools at one time. Gosh golly. <laughs> There's so many of these little, like, trappinch looking chaos, gross, purple enemies here. What are these dudes? What's their deal? So these are Eggman robots, that much I understand. Because we saw them in the opening cutscene, right? And man, they look like like coffee tables or something. They're all flat and stuff on top. What is this even? I, I have no idea. I have no gosh darn idea, dude. But uh, can we pick you up? Yeah, I'm going to pick you up and throw you and your buddy over here. <laughs> Get out of here. Die. Die. I feel like this is like Jekyll and Hyde type of Sonic. Where uh, Werehog Sonic should be like definitely evil or so Oh, I got to smash it, don't I? Yep. Ugh, with my big gross... Ogre hands. <laughs> it's so nasty, man. Why do I equate? Wait, can I like? Oh, I got a circle to get up there. Okay. Why do I equate like big nasty stuff with ogres? Ogres are people too. They have feelings, dude. We've been through this. You all know the depth of ogres' feelings. You know the tragedy that blessed our childhoods. Wait, can I not jump up there? Okay, thank you. Blessed our childhoods. You know what the green one went through, and how he felt, and how he chased his love. Truly the most inspiring story. But either way, I'm gonna stop this dead meme, and I'm gonna hop on this pole, and climb up it very slowly. He's like, my arms are too big, it's really awkward, okay? Just don't, don't make fun of me. Uh, can I go back the other way? Yes, I can. And I see that sun metal over there. Do I have to... How do, how do I... How do I... Why can't I jump off? What? <laughs> For some reason, it's not... Oh, you have to, like, hold X a little bit longer instead of just pressing it. Okay. Uh, that's a little bit weird, but whoa, what was that? What did I even just get? It looked like some type of special ring thing. Is that what I spend at, like, the black market, like, on off days or something? And yeah, I see what's going on here. We gotta open up the door. I got you. I got your number, man. And we got more of these frog dudes, man. It's... Kermit's slightly shadier brother who got into some stuff that he really shouldn't have when he was uh, going through college. He had to pay the bills somehow, but you know, you just go down that road, man, and you can't get out of it sometimes. That's just what happens, and it sucks, and it's unfortunate, but Kermit, man, you got a chance to bring it back. You got a chance to bring it back, Mr. Frog. I guess it's not Kermit. Is Kermit the Frog's last name Frog? Like, his initials are Kermit T. Frog. <laughs> Sonic T. Hedgehog. <clears throat> That's awesome. Yeah, what is this? Oh, is this maybe for like our unleash gauge? Mm, doesn't look like it did anything to it. <clears throat> but maybe that's because it was already full when I picked that up. <laughs> Might make sense, but man. Yo, okay, I gotta say, I have no idea if it's gonna get old as we go on in the game, but being the first time that I've heard this battle music, this battle music is actually pretty cool. I really like the intro to it. It reminds me of some like, like, I don't know, casino type music or something that, like, some sort of, like, Team Rocket vibe or a casino vibe or something. I really like the, um, d just the, just the instruments on it, like the horns and stuff. I think it's really cool. Some, like, spy movie stuff, actually, it kind of sounds like. Team Rocket, casinos, and spies. Man, I just have the most consistent thought patterns of all time. <laughs> Literally, my brain makes absolutely no sense, but that's okay because we got our little yellow orbs, and I am looking forward to leveling stuff up. So, it looked like on the screens, actually, you could level up Werehog Sonic or regular Sonic, no matter, like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> oh my god, yo, kill him, Sonic, oh my god, did y'all see that? Oh god, oh god, but if you mess it up, they smack you right back. Yo, this is the best wrestling game since 
WWE versus Raw, get the heck out of the way. You ain't got nothing on Sonic Unleashed. That was cool, man. Oh my gosh. So yeah, apparently there's actions, or what, what are those called? Quick time events? I, I have no idea. I'm not hip with the lingo these days, but uh, I am hip with the money in my pocket, I'll tell you that much. Whoa. <laughs> really? We, <laughs> we got a balancing act, really? That's what's going on right now? I do not believe it. I do not believe it. I do want to take this dude out, though, so let's smash him against the wall, and there he goes. And there was a checkpoint, like, three feet ago. Why do we need another one? Ah, oh, these things are so cute! I don't want to kill them! No! I mean, all, all infidels must die and all that, but, like, why... Why they gotta be so adorable, though? They look like... Oh, what do they look like? I swear they look like something. They look like maybe a Paper Mario enemy or something like that? I don't know, I've had Paper Mario on the brain quite a lot recently. Have yet to play Color Splash, actually, as of uh, recording this video, but that's all irrelevant. We ain't talking about Paper Mario, we're talking about Paper Sonic featuring Luigi's dad, <laughs> the hottest new item on shelves in stores now, kids. What is, uh... I want to know what these enemies are, because they all look very, like... I guess they're all going to have this, like, shadow look about them, not like Shadow the Hedgehog, because if Shadow the Hedgehog was this cute, he would have a problem being as edgy as he is, but, um, like, you know, they, like, got a, I come from the Shadow Realm type of look to him, that type of thing, you know? That's what I want, a Sonic and Yu-Gi-Oh crossover, the fastest card game known to man. <laughs> Didn't they have one of the series of Yu-Gi-Oh where they actually rode on, like, motorcycles or whatever? I don't know. I stopped watching Yu-Gi-Oh, um, after Yu-Gi-Oh GX, which I actually didn't see all of that either. But I watched a whole lot of the original anime when I was a kid, and that was really interesting. I, I loved it when I was a kid. I thought it was so cool, and I wanted to be, like, a professional duelist, and I thought that... I literally thought I was gonna go to Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments and, like, win Yu-Gi-Oh duels for a living when I was a kid. <laughs> and I had this whole big plan of me and my friend were gonna go to, like, a partner tournament. I didn't even know if those existed, but I was like, yeah, we're gonna get world famous at the age of 12 for playing Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> and, uh, unfortunately didn't, didn't quite work out. You know, job market is tough, and it's hard to get into that stuff, you know, it's, you know, it's just all the formalities. You could be the greatest duel master in the world, but living off Yu-Gi-Oh! Isn't, uh, isn't that great. But I watched a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh! cartoon when I was a kid, or cartoon, anime, <laughs> when I was a kid. Um, the original I thought was super, super cool, and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX I thought was really cool too. I was like, why can't there actually be dueling schools to go to? That'd be so cool, man. I'd go to a dueling school, drop out of regular school, and just play Yu-Gi-Oh! for a living. But honestly, then, who wouldn't? Like, <laughs> that sounds like a fun time. But I stopped watching after GX, and I heard the series started getting a little goofy after that. And even a lot of people didn't really like GX. I always thought it was cool. But, uh... But, uh, yeah, going back and watching Yu-Gi-Oh! now is, like, what? Oh, wait. Is this what I have to have those medals for? His pedestal looks like it's supposed to have something on it, huh? Oh, or maybe I'm just supposed to find a rock. Okay, that would make sense. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, wait, is that it? No, no, I thought I saw something, but apparently I didn't. Uh, let's stop dawdling and, uh, oh, there we go. Literally right there. The whole time. It was in my face. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. But going back and watching Yu-Gi-Oh! these days, I just want to finish this thought. I know I'll stop talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! I've been talking about it way too much. Um, But, like, it's just so goofy. Everybody's voices... Watching it in English, at least. I have no idea what the Japanese is like. But, um, everybody's voices and the characters and just what they say is so hilarious and, like... Kind of cringy, and it's just amazing. I love stuff like that, though. It is absolutely my favorite thing in the world. So where? Oh, I see. I'm gonna get you over there, Moon Metal. You can't escape from me. There is no escaping the dark side. I thought he was gonna throw it for a second, and that would have been muy upsettingo. But we got ourselves that Moon Metal, which I'm okay with. And uh, where is this Moon Rock that we're looking for? That's what I'm not too sure about myself. So, oh, well, apparently the ambulance is going to help me, so it's okay, guys. Why am I glowing red? That makes no sense. Yo, got ourselves a sun medal, that's okay. I will take it. Uh, but where is the moon rock? Where could it be? Oh, darling moon rock, where art thou? 
I bet it's through one of these. Why did I not notice that that- Whoa, okay, God, hello. Hello, everybody. I just want my book and I want out of here. I just want to make a simple borrow from the library. I didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings, oh God. <laughs> How did I not notice that the uh, doors here are actually breakable before? Yeah, I was hitting them before, but apparently I just didn't notice that it was doing something, I guess. But either way, got ourselves a rock here, even though it's green and the one on the pedestal definitely looks blue. What a ripoff, man, and oh my god. Could you walk any slower, Sonic? <laughs> Jeez, he's like... It's like actually trying to simulate what carrying a heavy rock in real life is like. Why, why don't we have to set it down every once in a while to take a break and rest our tired arms? Whoa, monster. Think you could circle around and get him from behind? Who, who needs to do that? <laughs> who do you think I am? Don't be ridiculous. Why would I do that, man? I could just throw him off the side to his death. We're so high up, better take this one slow and careful. You mean absolutely just ram the control stick in one direction the whole time and not care? Because <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Man, this is actually kind of cool. That shadow makes no sense because there's no shadow for the rails down below, but that's okay because we're werehogs and we are made of magic. What are these books, man? I'm a werehog. I feel like Sonic should lose like 10 IQ points at least when he transforms into the werehog, so I ain't got no time for reading, man. I'm too gosh diddly darn dumb for that. How do I get down? Okay. See, now we're the sp- Oh, God. Something- That just does not settle well with me. I don't know, man. His arms are too, like, spaghetti-like. And I love me some spaghetti, but not when it's inside of me being me. I don't know. Is that just me? Does nobody else here- Uh, Does, does anybody here like the idea of becoming a giant spaghetti monster or something like that? Because that is not uh, in the cards for me. Okay, yeah. It, it seems like circle is like the action button for like everything, so I guess circle is going to be our go-to because circle means correct, and I am correct in all manner of issues in life. This is, so apparently there's platforming segments to the Werehog too. I thought it was all kind of like a beat-em-up thing. It's kind of cool that we've got a little bit of platforming going on. Hopefully it gets a little more interesting as time goes on. That would be neat. Whoa. <laughs> What is this doorbell sound effect? I just realized that. Yo, if you if you hit the action action commands. Too much Paper Mario in my brain, man. But if you hit the commands right, apparently like it sounds a doorbell like, "Hello, I'm here to kill you, to murder you. Yes, please let me murder." Ha ha. Ha ha. It's -a me, Mario's sister mother. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yo, is this the end of the level? Do we have full life? I feel like this is going to be really hard. All right. Let's go ahead and take the big bad boy on himself. Fool looking like Regigigas fused with the Millennium Eye or something. Why is there like... There are like two themes to this video. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Paper Mario. I can't seem to shut up about. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh my god. That boy is swinging some fat mallets around. And I do not want to get hit by that, I assume. <laughs> so let's go ahead and be... Okay, he can do that, I guess. That did a lot of damage, actually. Um, I'm sorry if my head angle is a little bit weird right now. I actually have to, like, peek around my mic to be able to see my life bar. And I'm a little bit afraid of dying to this fool, because he is looking big and mean and nasty. And I hope he doesn't spawn... Okay. He knows Earthquake. It is a Pokemon after all. Regigigas, how you doing? Okay. Got your number that time, dude. All right. I just have to remember... Oh, my God. Well, apparently going... Oh, my God. Bruh. <laughs> Calm down. It is no you- God, Jesus! Getting slammed up against the wall over and over. Okay. I forgot how to use my unleashed mode, but that's what I want to do. Whoa. Do I have a- Is that just a normal guard? It's not using, like, unleashed power, it looks like. Okay. Don't want to run into your shockwave, so I'll just go ahead and smack you around- Oh, no. Okay. It looks like every time he does an attack, we've got, like, a decent window before he does another one, so that's okay. That's cool. We could probably get, like, a full combo in, actually. Ah, pretty close to it. I don't want to, uh, risk it, because this man seems to put off combos. He doesn't just hit you with his mallet at once. He has got some serious damage going on. I don't know, maybe I'm just being a baby about it, but I don't want to die, man, because this level is really long, and I don't want to have to lose a whole bunch- Whole bunch of progress. <laughs> oh, God, no! Let, let, spare me! Alright, what is this? Oh. Ooh. Yo, yo, that did so much. Is he dead? Who 
hold up. We just killed this man in one hit. That was wild. Oh my gosh. And now the spy music is gone, unfortunately, and we have to go into the gold ring. But first, before that, let's just destroy a pot real quick. Just because it makes me feel better about myself, okay? Yeah, we did it. I guess that's the first, like, boss of the game. Oh, we're probably going to have, like, proper boss. Well, not proper bosses, because... All right, you are, like, crossing over too many things. And you are way too still right now. He froze like a statue. He's like, did you take the picture yet? Did you take it? I want a thousand likes on Instagram. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I guess we're going to have uh, combat-based bosses too, huh? Oh, we have a lot of experience to spend. First of all, uh, I want to get this up. Uh, well, I guess we're going to have to get that all the way up. Ring energy leveled up. And then I want some strength, obviously. And then I want some... What would combat do? Can that, like, increase our combos or something? I have no idea what any of these do, but I do. Yeah, we did learn a new combo. Awesome. The egg scrambler. I'm going to whip up some eggs, and they're going to be delicious, everybody, and made of death, the secret ingredient. Let's do one more on combat, then. Flying double punch crush. Oh, my God. These really sound like some wrestling moves, dude. Like, we're about to bust some skulls. I want to get strength up. Mm, yeah, let's do one more strength and one more. Oh, no, dang it. And one more for life. And then beyond that... Uh, can I take it? I guess after I put it into strength by accident, I can't take any out. So better be careful with that in the future. I guess let's just put a little bit into Unleash. Because I feel like that's going to be important in the future. But for now, let's just quit out of here and see if we can't rescue our good buddy Tails. Who happened to be in the same weird Italian continent as us for some reason. Hey, Tails. <laughs> hey, Tails. It's me, Tails. Wanna hang out? Let's play apples to apples. Sonic, is that really you? Yeah. You like my new look? I'm trying to look more manly for the ladies. You know me. Never a dull moment. Really? Thanks. The secret ingredient is arsenic, huh? That's some story. He sounds not interested at all. Oh my gosh. What is Chip doing in the background there? Oh my gosh. He is just chilling. Chip is, Chip is such a homie, dude. Oh my gosh. Who over in Spagonia? <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I'm an expert on geography, by the way. Geography and killing. Yeah, my airplane's here for no reason. <laughs> Just sitting over here in the field. Nowhere to land. I don't know how it got here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sonic, you're too fat. The airplane can't take off. You're going to have to lose about 15 pounds before we can go anywhere, fool. But yo, off into the sky and Tails comes through yet again. The homie that he is, as always. This is an awkwardly long takeoff scene. <laughs> okay. Well, my first taste of the Werehog wasn't that bad. That was okay. That was all right. Uh, definitely going to have to get some more combos, though, which is why I was spending so much on combat, because just smashing square and then just smashing triangle, even though that's probably what I'm going to end up doing throughout the game, if I'm completely honest. Not exactly my cup of tea. Not too shabby. <clears throat> the professor's just a hop and a skip with, what's that approaching? Oh god, it's the US military! Parade? Oh my gosh. Oh, yo, we get to do one of these little segments. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I was gonna end the video off, but I have got to do this. There is no way that I can't do this. I so want to do this. Sonic, to defeat Eggman's robots, press the buttons that appear on screen to attack. If you fire too much, alternate between pressing R1 and L1 to rebuild your power. Tornado something. All right. Yeah, shoot them with missiles and cause death to them and their families. All right, can I move? Oh. Oh, okay. So I have to press the button that okay I, so it's not like a sonic adventure type thing where i get to shoot wherever and whenever i want i've got to 
Tails in the command deck prepping the missiles, and I just pulled the trigger, I guess. Okay, okay, I got it. Can't move around either, but... Yo, this is such a nice, like, setting here. The beautiful ocean and the beautiful sky. And we have been flying for a long time, actually. Like, it turned back to day, and Sonic turned back into the Werehog. So, like, what is going on? <laughs> oh, okay, so if I press the wrong thing, it takes away energy, too, but... Man, Sonic's like, can I get some in-flight entertainment here, like a movie or some peanuts? Tell a joke, Tails. Say something funny. Gosh, you're so boring. I feel like Sonic would be a terrible person to go, like, driving with or something, you know? Just wouldn't shut up the entire time, especially since, you know, he could get there in, like, three seconds by himself. I mean, you know, if I could run everywhere in 4.2 seconds, I probably would. Maybe, maybe if I had like a really fast segue, I'd do that. Because <laughs> I don't know if I want to run, run everywhere. Kind of too lazy for that. But yeah, if I had a really like super jacked up segue with like a V8 engine or something, that would be the life. <laughs> oh god, I don't even know what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, you can play the segment with one hand, so it's kind of relaxing. It's kind of cool. For some reason, the environment here reminds me of like jet wings or whatever, or pilot wings, not jet wings. Jet? What is jet wings? Is that a thing? I feel like that's some like airplane fighting game, which also would make sense, but not pilot wings because it's just so like colorful and happy. Even though we're getting shot at by a bunch of missiles, and it's like, yes, death is impending. There are no seatbelts on this thing. If we get hit by one thing, we're definitely dead. But um. I don't know, man. I'm having a great time. I would rate this airline five rings out of five. Except they don't serve chili dogs, so never mind. They serve up plenty of spicy memes, though. I'll tell you that for sure. <laughs> Yo, if you guys aren't following the Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter account, by the way, speaking of memes, you are missing out. First of all, if you're not following at Third Mario Brother on Twitter, <laughs> see that plug? You're missing out. But the second. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter is, like, my lifeblood, man. It makes me so happy that it exists, and <laughs> it's so funny. Whoa! What is that thing? How did we not see it before? Why don't we have rearview mirrors? Get it? Because it sounds kind of like Sonic. Handle it gently, Doctor, please. I don't like it too rough. The Egg Cauldron? Yo, it's kind of got a face of its own, doesn't it? Oh god. Oh god, I've never been good at... Oh god, oh god. I've never been good at, um... Quick time... What are these even... What are these even called? I don't know the gaming terminology. Quick time segments? Whatever these are. I've never actually been that good at these because I haven't played a whole lot of games with them. And I've got terrible reflexes. And I'm an idiot, so it's like a triple threat. Like... <laughs> Oh my gosh, alright, take care of these, but this thing looks just mad. It kind of looks like something out of a Ghibli movie. It looks a little bit like Howl's Moving Castle, except angry. And it's got like, weird tumor sticks coming out of its eyes. It's like, yeah, someone stuck some straws in my eyes so they could drink my tears. What do you know about being edgy? Oh god, no. Okay, is our energy okay? Yeah, looks like it. See, the only problem was then these ah, these things stack up on top of each other, and uh, it's it just gets really hard to see, and I get overwhelmed. Okay, I get stressed out, and I was like, bleh, I'm a smoker. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Taste my bad breath. That smells like tuna fish, which I had in some way today. Bleh. I actually did have a tuna sub today. <laughs> okay, he's firing all weapons. Oh man, he is going crazy. Oh god, can we take him out? Yes. <laughs> there we go. That was actually a lot closer than I expected it to be. Oh, he doesn't have any special move where he, like, rams into us or launches a nuke at us or something. Okay, he doesn't have any last resorts, so we're right back to the happy music. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh. Get me out of here, Tails. It got all cloudy. It got all gloomy. Whoa, you are coming in way too fast. We're about to run into somebody's house. Somebody is dying tonight. Sorry, in advance. But either way, got ourselves that nice B rank. B for Booyah. Made it through this episode of Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. If you enjoyed and you haven't yet, please make sure to leave a like in the video down below. But that Warehog level was really long. And we took out the minigame after it. So, provided there's no cutscene. Well, I guess there's probably going to be a cutscene because we're in a new area, huh? Oh no, this is Spagonia Sonic, now let's go see the professor. Let's see, the schooling teaches I was around here somewhere. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh god. So next time on Sonic Unleashed, apparently, we are going to be furthering our education. And I hope you guys join me then. I'm looking forward to it, because who wouldn't? Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys next time.